good morning and welcome to today's upload my name's emma make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos chats organization i'll be back doing vlogs very very soon so last week if you watched the video i did kind of a covered organization of me top me top bits now i'm focusing on me bottom bits and i'm going to be going through the drawers because lots of you are like yeah we want to see what you do with the bottom it took me two days to do the top I'm hoping it doesn't take me two days to the bottom. Um, this is an Ikea kitchen, so the top bits are kind of like cupboard based. And then we've got three sets of drawers and one. I'm going to call it the cupboard, of, the cupboard of crap, the cupboard of doom, where I don't think I ever have really gone in it. And my husband just shoved things in. Ever so often it doesn't shut properly, so I have to kind of like try and ram stuff in it's like you know on friends where monica uh, you know we all think she's really clean and tidy and then she opens that cupboard and everything falls out on her i feel that's what's going to happen down there so do you know what? i'm going to actually leave that bit to the last today i'm in my tracksuit bottoms from primark and i've got this i'm nicer when i'm at disney t-shirt which is i think it's called dreamers club on instagram and um, they do lots of nice and it's really nice it's really nice and it's really good quality so <clears throat> I'm nervous because I'm so embarrassed about the state of my drawers. But I'm going to go through and show you what's going on first of all. And then together we'll tidy it up. I have decided that I'm going to um, catch up with Vanderpump Rules because I love reality TV. If you are new here, please let me know in the comments your favourite reality TV. I love Real Housewives of New York. I love Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But Vanderpump Rules is back and I really, really love that. And I suggest... If you love reality TV, you should go and watch it because it's really, really fun. I'm delaying the inevitable. Let's get to the drawers. Okay, so this is kind of like, I would say, like kid drawers. So we've got, this is where we keep the kids' water bottles. We keep plates. And I probably need to have a good go through these. Make sure the water bottles are nice. Like this one, you can see, is all, it's all chews. Um, kids get through a lot of water bottles and then here we have this is where we keep lunch boxes and in here is where I keep things like oh you see a, a bit of rubbish <laughs> so this is where I keep like Tupperware and stuff that needs sorted and then the bottom one is um, <clears throat> where I keep stuff for parties like paper plates, serviettes paper cups that kind of stuff because I just like to use that throughout the year. So that's drawers number one. Woo! Drawers number two. Now, we went to America recently. Actually, this section here, and these magazines are for friends, so these are not mine. But there are quite a lot of sweets in here left over from Christmas. Then we kind of have like an adult snacks drawer, so the, the kids know they're not really supposed to take anything from this. And then on the bottom, we have, oh my, oh. can we see guys, can we see, we have Stephen's weird jaw of protein shakes and oh, all manner of things that needs to be sorted out. Okay, these are like the kids drawers, so they know, <laughs> anything on the top, they have to ask before they eat because for example you do not really want your child grabbing a giant lolly snack so um that needs to be sorted out here are stuff they are allowed to have so we've got like cereal bars naked bars um like dried fruit and then the bottom is like crisps uh snacks so um popcorn uh baked what's it you know your standard kid stuff so we need to sort through those i need to check out um sell by dates i definitely got to that stage of being a mum where i have to check sell by dates i don't know if any of you have ever looked in your mum's cupboards recently but there will always be stuff in there and you were like this is from 2005 so we try and keep on top of the sell by dates uh because well, one, we want to make sure we eat everything. And two, we don't want to be eating stuff that is very, very past its sell-by date. So, okay, we're ready. We're going down. Okay. I can see here 
we have Stephen's beer, but not only do we have Stephen's beer, we also have three rolls of kitchen roll because that is what we need. We also have, I can see a unicorn toy. I can see at the back a bottle of garden lemonade and I can also see a giant tub of dog food, which is a very organized, if that's where you want to keep, you want to keep, your dog food with your tin foil, your tin foil with your unicorn, your unicorn with your booze, and end it up with some garden lemonade. Because that is logic. That is logical. Oh, hang on, I've also noticed a selection of colouring books. When I put that back, then something smashed. Let's hope it wasn't the bottle of garden lemonade. So that's definitely one that needs to be streamed lined and sorted out so i'm going to go one by one i'm going to i'm going to go easiest to worstest yes that was very good grammar i did use the word worstest right let's start off with the um tupperware and that lot of shenanigans I've just noticed a couple you have to be really careful with plastic bottles and stuff because they can go a little bit moldy sometimes if they left, left a bit of dram in so I'm going to try and get that out if not they might have to go in the bin I'm going to go through the plates because Erin now is nine she's not so into the Disney princesses so I think the Disney princess plates might be going into the um Maybe this might go into the garage because when we do art, it's good to have plates to. And these plates are really good. These are from the Disney store. They're really good quality. So, you might have to <laughs> take those. Also, we have got two Halloween plates which are not needed in this. And we have a Thomas the Tank Engine plate which is chipped to the point of chippedness. And I do think that germs and stuff might live in the chip. The chipped chips things so I'm gonna put everything back in that I need to keep and then chuck some stuff and then take some stuff down to the garage there's nothing here that I can donate to charity because it's either chipped or just really really grubby Woohoo! we have got streamlined I think there's room in there I think we actually probably need to I don't know guys at what age do your kids just have normal bowls and not plastic bowls so mine are seven and nine but I still feel that we need the old plastic thing but maybe i should just embrace that they now have normal bowls am i clinging on to childhood too long so we've got that i went through all the tupperware and the lunch boxes so we have a little gap here for some at some if something else crops up i know i've got some tupperware from Poundland that can probably go in here and that's all really nice and sorted i mean how adult sort new tupperware and then down here we have um, tablecloths. This is pretty much the same, really. This is just for when the kids have parties or we have barbecues or whatnot. So this is kind of like the kids' cupboard. Done. Done, done, done. Now to move on to Stephen's flipping drawer of protein doom. Ooh. The trouble with sorting through the snacks and the um, <clears throat> switch drawer is I'm, up, I'm operate, currently operating a one for the drawer, one for me. That uh, method of tidying. One is not supposed to tidy stuff into their mouth. That is not one is what is one is supposed to do. I've emptied a lot of cardboard boxes um, to get in the recycling. What was that noise? I heard like a whip. It's a seagull. I live in Birmingham. It's January. What's going on? Right, so I have sorted the drawers out. <clears throat> we have the adult snacks kids don't touch drawer we have the kind of crispy things that aren't really for kids either and then Stephen's drawer is much tidier if you go to Ikea you can get these little tubs which are really 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 handy and they're really really rigid and stable and good so I put all of his 
little lotions and potions in there. I emptied all of his protein bars into one, went through, sorted through his um, water bottles. I didn't chuck anything away because that's not, I know if somebody sorted all my stuff out and then I realised they chucked half the stuff away, I'd have been, I'd be absolutely fuming, so I'm not doing that, but I might have a word with him later. I'm going, do you want to just, do you really need as a grown man to have six water bottles? Maybe we can minimise it to three? We'll see, fingers crossed, wish me luck. I'm actually super lucky with the kids because they don't, if they're given sweets or stuff for gifts, they don't actually remember. So I can kind of like give them away to people without the kids knowing. Um, we don't really let them have sweets that often to be honest. And what we do do is the ones the sweets that we do keep, I will put in this with a lid on and it's kind of like, outside out of mine. They don't, look, they don't tend to look in here. Um, but then, of course, if they, you know, if they do want a little treat, we have got, we have got some. So, Ethan, for a seven-year-old boy, has a very um, sophisticated palate. He likes white Lindor chocolate. So we got him, a, we got him a pack for his birthday, and he's probably only had one. So I'll put those in here. I won't get rid of those because he loves those. However, like mini. Cookies, I don't mind them having as a special treat, so they, they can be out on view. So when I go, go and pick yourself a treat, they can go in to see. I might put these in here as well. These are Kit, white Kit Kat minis, and they're only, oh, look at that card. I thought they were individually wrapped, and they're not. All right, I'm gonna put that back there. I don't mind them having like one or two of those as well. Um, do I sound like the world's most miserable mom? <laughs> most probably. Right, I'm just going to sort through all the other bits and then I'm going to give the joy a good, good clean because the children have left it in a bit of a, a grubby state. Found it. I found the out of date thing. These Jaffa cakes are six months out of date. Knew there'd be something in there. I knew there was. Let's see these party rings. I think, I think my mum might have given these to the kids actually the other day so these should be okay. No, we've still got another seven months to eat those. So that's good. That's good. What about this? Okay, I, I lied. This one. March 2019. Right, must keep on top of eating snacks. I suppose, if anything, it shows that I'm a good mum that we're not eating all the rubbish all the time. But, uh... I knew there'd be something in there that was was out of date. I just knew it. This was, a, this was by far the grottiest uh, cupboard. So we've got snacks, like treats. I don't mind them having for a treat. Treats, oh, hidden treats. Then I've got biscuits. And I always keep biscuits in the house for if we have play dates. So if somebody comes over after school or, and you just give them like a cookie or some chocolate fingers or something because they're like pudding. At the back here, I got this for Ethan for his birthday from Smith. And it was only eight pound, and it is like a pick and mix. Try, oh, I nearly, nearly threw away the um, scoop then. So you fill it up with sweets, and then they can fill up these. And it's really, really cute, and it means that they only have like a little tiny amount of sweets, but I thought that'd be quite good, uh, again, for play dates. And they just looked, and it was eight pounds. So Smith Toy Superstore has loads of like little, little toys like that, so that's, that can keep in here while they rather than in his bedroom. And then, in this drawer here, we have the children's snacks. And these are all open because it's anything that they want. So we have Nature Valley Crunchy Bars, Naked Bars, Raisins, Apricots, little breakfast bars. Um, I'm not sure if this is interesting information towards you, but every night after school they come in and I usually make them a couple of, round, uh, couple of pieces of toast and some fruit and then on a Friday they get to come in and pick some crisps and like one of the snacks as a treat. Am I sounding like the world's most strict mum? I can't quite, I can't quite work it out but they're ravenous and they get home from school so but those treats Say they were really hungry, like sometimes after their breakfast, especially Ethan, sometimes after his breakfast, he's still a bit hungry, he's like, can I have a snack? And I don't mind him grabbing some raisins and stuff. Um, and then the bottom drawer is just popcorn, crisps, mini cheddars, um, that, again, we don't mind the children having. And 
I have to go out now to go and visit a friend and her baby, which is handy because it means I get to put off the doom section. So I'm gonna tidy up here, put the stuff in the recycling, chuck away the stuff we don't need anymore, give the surfaces a wipe down, and then I'll come back and tackle the doom of the cupboard at the corner. Um, and maybe I might buy myself some nice lunch to ring it back as well to kind of cheer me up. I think actually the kids might need some more varieties of snacks, so maybe I might look for those as well. Right, so I will see, I'm off, but you'll see me in the next scene. I'm back and it's absolutely tipping it down. Um, went and saw my friend with her little girl, Maya. So that was cute. Um, back in the kitchen. I've got Love Island on in the background. Are you watching Love Island? What do you think about it? Try not to leave too many spoilers because I'm really, really far behind. But I've, they've just said, um, I think one of them said, um, you know, you're 25, but I don't see that as, as old. And I thought, oh my God, I'm 42. <laughs> I see 25 as like the youngest in the world. <laughs> so I'm now going to bring you down to the ground, down on the floor, getting down and dirty while I empty the, the cupboard of doom. It has to be done. We have to get rid of this bizarre selection of things. I'm already thinking, where am I keeping three rolls of tin roll tin roll tin foil was it an offer why do we have three was it by two get one for it? did Stephen panic has Stephen just stopped is he stop taking for some sort of end of the world and we're gonna have to live and put tin foil hats on and wrap ourselves in tin foil we don't know but this is what I'm gonna discover I think I'm slightly losing the plot hello <laughs> I'm not very good because I've um got me bad back. Sometimes I find sitting on the floor a bit hard, but Lucy, hey, you gonna come and join us? If any of you are ever looking for a Lucy update, she is due to have a scan to find out a bit more about the cancer. Um, but we, the vet said to wait till after Christmas. So we have hot water bottles, lots of, Oh, crayons. So if you follow me on my Instagram, you will know that I actually have a tub. You see? Hello. I actually have a tub on the back table that the kids use for homeworks. Um, <laughs> oh, it's because it's the dog food. She's like, mmm. Um, so we actually don't really need any more crayons down here. Halloween stickers. I am going to keep all the stickers. In fact, I'm going to file a lot of this crafty stuff. Oh, these. Have any of you ever had, or your kids had, blow pens? These are going in the garage for summer day activities because, oh my gosh, they make so much mess. They are absolutely terrible. So all this kind of craft stuff, there's some glue sticks in it. Do you know what, I'm gonna sort that out. Sorry Lucy, I'm gonna put that on the table and sort it out. Right, <clears throat> we have got, oh, R.I.P. Anna. We've got some guinea pig snacks. Now I'm sure in one of the shops you can put in pet stuff, can't you? I'm sure one of our shops, so I'm gonna keep that, put that in there. Right, we have our first aid kit, our second first aid kit, because we've got two. Now, I'm fairly certain I went through this recently, so everything's in date, and this is more stuff like Olbus oil. Oh my God. 2018, goodbye. 2020, we're all right, guys. We're all right, that Olbus oil's in date. Um, it's like Lem Sips, electronic, um, wah, thermometer. And then adult plasters and kids plasters. So these are like migraine, cool and soothe. Yep, yeah, that is two years out of date as well. Obviously we were looking, didn't have any migraines. This is fascinating. I thought I was really on top of all this stuff. Clearly not. 
write the rest of the stuff's all in date. Let me know in the comments if you can think of a way of using stuff up. I mean, you can't use migraine things if you've not had a migraine. Right, and then we've got a, a little activity set, another crafty set. So there we go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a boozy drinks thing. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to... The tinfoil's going somewhere else. That's, that's going with other household shenanigans. I think I'm going to have a boozy thing. This is all Stevens, not mine. Then I think I'm going to have a dog food pet thing. And then... Oh! A little ball for her and then i'm gonna have a first aid thing so excited we now have top row we've got stephen's booze that he bought for christmas that he never drank but next to it guys i've managed to take something out of this cupboard here which is like cocktail stoves and stuff and move it down so i now have more cupboard room for tea next row it's got tins of dog food. It's got dog biscuits. I've also added in dog treats tin, which has given me some more room here. I also added in, we got like a box of puppy pads, because if, um, you know, when Lucy has a operation and stuff, she has to have, she's just that little in a bum, she has to have puppy pads because she can't get in and out. Put them in there. It's given some room for the cupboard under the stairs. And then on the bottom, we've got the non-hazardous first aid kit, so plasters and stuff. And I've put back, I've sorted through the tub of pens, so it's got like all the stickers in for kids' projects, because last year the school introduced kids' projects, so they had stickers and stuff down there. There's loads of room. What a successful day. And the three rolls of tin foil is gonna go in a drawer where there's like, where the knives and forks are, there's another drawer above it and that has a little room for rolls. I was gonna say take them out the cardboard box but that'd be silly wouldn't it because then you wouldn't be able to cut it so I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. I was going too far ahead myself. Well, howdy doody, I am a star. What a successful day. So there we go, that's my cupboards done. Done them cupboards, done those cupboards. I do need to do the cupboard under the stairs, but I can't face that today. And I've done about four videos on that, and it just continues to get messy. I think I need to hire somebody to flip in, sort it out for me. So let's not worry about that. I'm going to go to uh, do an IKEA come shop with me video with my mom soon because you really like the Costco one. And um, so thanks so much for that um, because she loved all the comments that you wrote about it because she just, you know, she's a star, isn't she, Nanny? Nanny Sam. So everything looks nice and sorted and I can't wait for Stephen to come home and me go, no Stephen, stop, no more tin foil in the house. Thank you very much. Um, before I go, last year we started, this is so boring, but I feel like I have to tell you because it's revolutionary in my life. Last year, Stephen and I um, started doing a load of washing a day. Somebody, somebody, you know, put it on in, the television, somebody phoned up Trevor McDonald, I don't even know if he's still on the news, but we started doing a load of washing a day and it's changed our lives. So I just wanted to impart that wisdom. We just do, he puts it in, turns it on, do the school run, I come back, put it to dry, and then in the evenings we both put them away and it's very pleasant. <laughs> so we, we, we were both ill over Christmas and we didn't do that and it was a bit traumatic. So we had to get back on it again. So just top tip for you, for you lovely viewers out there. I love you lots. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks so much if you pre-ordered my book. So I've got a book of poetry, very different to organization, coming out um, soon in a few months, all about body confidence and parenting and all sorts of, all sorts of shenanigans. So if you pre-ordered my book, amazing. If you want to know more about it, I'll leave a link below. And I am very pleased, so I'm going to have a cup of tea, edit this video, and catch up on Love Island. So I will see you for very soon for another video. Bye, guys.